Yes, legends. Congratulations, guys. If you took the long when I did, buying range lows, guys. I actually did take a hedged long in anticipation of us getting back to $20,000. Guys, we hit 20K. We actually went and pierced through it um, for a short period of time, actually. Um, but we do have a potential deviation play here, guys. Um, I am I am now long uh, from a hedge position to the to the upside, but I also am looking to sell resistance as well and play both the cards here and play the range. But we do have an ascending formation, guys, coming into this. That's a good sign. So you can look at this trend line here. So obviously on the micro timeframes, guys, I'll start on the short term, then go medium term, then go long term, obviously in these videos. But you can see here, guys, that we do have this nice um, ascending formation. You know, if we come down here again and get a nice tag off it and hold it, that could potentially be the spring to get through 20K. And then we're looking for higher upside targets if, guys, we break above it and hold it and find it as support. The bulls take the stairs, guys. Right now, we're initiating, beginning to take the stairs. Uh, if we do come down here, guys, and come up maybe to like that again, resistance and breakthrough trend, then we know, guys, we're going to go and tag range loads again and play out the whole entire cycle once more on the short-term time frames. Um, we do have um, some significant bearish divergences playing out, guys, on the hourly MDX oscillator 5. You can see here, there is a few indications here. Actually, every single indication we had, we already had a move to the downside, a very nice snap down around 2.6%, 2, 2 could have been a scalp trade. And guys, from here as well, you can see we have uh, that bearish, uh, bearish divergence indicator also coupling guys with a bullish divergence indicator you can actually see these indicators are very very accurate guys uh, and actually that takes me on to the indicators itself and um guys you guys in the the guys 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 but you've been using these indicators with very very high profitability in the community um this short here guys a lot, a lot of you guys took the long here as well phenomenal move and actually we did catch the short um, from 20k by using the indicators on lower time frames guys these indicators are literally phenomenal at scalp trading ranges especially when they're volatile ranges and uh just congratulations to you legends out there who are doing well come over to mdxalgo.com guys you can actually get the indicators for free for seven days and everything else we do we actually have the automation as well guys people are using this like crazy you can actually use our automated trading bot for free within the portal and guys just come to mdxalgo.com because you can monitor the market and that takes me on guys to the long to short ratio now looking better guys actually a good sign here what you do see a lot from long to short ratios is this if the market does get over exacerbated to one side of the books, especially if it's against the kind of country kind of like where you would think it would be, what you do see sometimes is um, when the market does actually give a little bit of relief, a lot of those retail traders who were long, who were underwater, what you start seeing is they start Xing their trades to try and get out with any, without any more losses. So what we're seeing here, guys, is a good sign. We want to see the long to short ratio on Binance be more short. We want to see more shorts at the bottom and more longs at the top. And uh, this is a good sign, guys, that if we get above 20 and we see the long to short ratio come back down on, on retail exchange like Binance, then we could say, okay, look, if we do hold above 20K, there could be a very nice trade setup here of buying 20 um, for the next logical upside targets. And guys, you know, we're going to be looking around 22, 22,000. Okay, we'll look at that when we actually get the confirmation of this. I can scroll back as well. I can say 22,000 up towards that 22,700. Okay, between here and here. We know we're probably going to see a little bit of resistance, even maybe even carving out another lower high on the medium, you know, short to medium term. <clears throat> and that could actually result in Bitcoin going lower all the way down to $10,000, which I don't think is off the cards. Considering that the CME dealers, we haven't got the report out. We're going to get the report today, later today. But the Chicago Mercantile dealers, they're still short. I don't, okay, the next, we're going to get the report in a few hours. I'll do, guys, add me on Twitter because then I'll, you know, on Twitter, I can fire out tweets much, much faster than videos. But um, I would I would un I would think it would be unlikely that we would see this come any lower in shorts than the previous week. Okay, so if we get an increase in shorts, then we know they're even more confident that we're likely going to go around fourteen thousand and probably ten k. Um, but if we do see a decrease in shorts, I would I'd say it's probably unlikely that it goes below the previous um low. They had two mil on the buy right there. Actually, someone just bought two mil. Um, so I say it's unlikely, guys, that we get below on shorts and i think it will either be sustained at the same level or will have an increase but you know what we're going to see from the dealers is they're probably going to scale slowly out of their shorts uh and then into longs and we know that asset managers have been scaling into shorts which is a good sign and taking down longs. so we want to see an inverse correlation there and this is a generally an okay decent sign for potentially bitcoin having a short-term pop to the upside and then that kind of takes you on to my medium-term plays guys and i would say that i have to just kind of stick to my analysis i've been saying for a while I don't think Bitcoin will get above 28k anytime soon. We could have, you know, a bear market rally up to 28. It wouldn't surprise me. You know, we haven't had much for many, many months. Okay, wouldn't surprise me to get something like that. 
Um, but I don't think we get above 28k. I'm looking to sell any longs at 28. Uh, and I do still think, guys, whether they go to 28 now and then 14 or 14 and 28, I do think both ends of the, this range will get tagged. Um, the liquidity pockets are there. There's an incentive. And I do think that Bitcoin usually plays out the whole breadth of the range, depending on where the range is. Okay, so Bitcoin is very volatile. It usually wicks down to un completely irrational places, you know, like COVID, for instance. Um, so that's kind of my medium term outlook. And then obviously long term, guys, you know that. Uh, long term, I can't really get bearish on Bitcoin long, long term. I actually really f struggle to get bearish on long on the long term narrative of Bitcoin. Like if you really think about it, like where can you park your money right now? If you really go down, I've done this myself multiple times. I've been in crypto for a while. If you really whittle out and really think and analyze where can you put your money, okay? Where is the safest place to put your money? Re it really is long term. It, it comes down to being Bitcoin. You know, gold's good, but gold's heavy. You can't move it around the world very quickly. It's not portable enough. It's not durable enough in a lot of cases. You know, look at real estate that can be seized. It's heavy, low liquidity, can't sell it quickly. Look at silver, look at equities, equity markets. I don't like the idea of buying equities at the top. You know, cryptocurrencies down. Bitcoin, you know, you, you really do go through this kind of epiphany, you know, and it, obviously you don't want to be too much of a, uh, a perma bull. But, you know, long term, it's very difficult to get bearish on Bitcoin, especially at CBBI, CBBI 5. You know, this is macro long term, good times to be looking at buying Bitcoin if you're a long term investor. If you had an investing mindset, I've said this a million times, but, you know, it's very difficult to come to a conclusion um, of where to put your money. You can't even really put your money in great British pounds anymore, even the Swiss franc. Look at the euro. Like even those places, which are historically been good at safe haven, can't be used. You can't use that. And then you have to think about the US dollar. It really is US dollars or Bitcoin right now. And we know that the US dollar is likely going to fail in the long term anyway. So it's it really is only Bitcoin long term. You can put your money right now in what I look at. And that's just being completely rational. That's not moon boy shit. I own a bag. So I think it's going to go up. That's literally me speaking to investors, market makers, me speaking to my father, etc. Just having this conversation and you come to the realization that there is no other freaking place because everything can be seized. It's heavy. This is perfect virtual liquid gold we're talking about here. Um, so very, very interesting stuff there on, on the long term. Guys, also, if you want to trade these markets, come to mdxalgo.com, click on trade. You can actually get big bonuses with our partners. I'll also put some links in the description, guys. You can get thousands of dollars for free with these exchanges to trade with. And also, guys, check out BitGet if you're in the UK or US because uh, they will let you trade. It's a completely regulated exchange. You can actually trade uh, with peace of mind uh, on BitGet. So all the links will be below, guys. Ultimately, guys, just um, keep trading. Stay safe. It's a very, very good time to be trading with the indicators. And guys, also, um, like this video and comment below. The best comment. And if you like it, you will win MDX Algo for life. And MDX Algo, the indicators you see, and these have been there. Actually, we've got a big update, guys, coming, actually. Uh, my my main uh, indicator developer actually went down seriously ill. It was out, he was out of action for a month. So he's back soon. And uh, it's going to be good to get all the updates we've been planning into the indicators for the next batch. Guys, you're all legends. I'll see you on the flip side. Bye-bye.